Here we are, part 20 of my video walkthrough for Fable, starring Uther. And we've just got our witch's potion so that we can go and cure the sick kid from his delirious ailment. I still can't believe the old woman really helped us. I'll never join another witch-burning mob after this. We won't forget your kindness, hero. Good luck with your quests. Why, well, thank you. <laughs> Yay, we got that bronze quest done. Alright, now we should continue on with the, the real game here. And finally, after quite a while, <laughs> go and do our bandit series quest. You it's uh, pretty fun. So let's uh, go ahead and warp over to Oakvale. And I've been uh, getting a pretty good chunk of money from uh, all the fighting and quest and whatnot, so I think I have enough to go ahead and buy the Bright Chainmail. New armor upgrade, alright. So, yep, let's go ahead and uh, start working on that. Let's see, there we go, Bright Chainmail. There's uh, five pieces to it. We have feet and legs, torso, like always. You know, basic stuff here, hands, and the bright chainmail set has a helmet. So there we go. Cost about seven thousand or so. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and equip it and see what she looks like here. Uh, where, where is it? Yeah, there's lots of items in this game. It's kind of easy to lose stuff. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yay! My big axe and my chain mail. Alright, to start the Bandit Series quest, we need to go to the far end of the beach here. And there should be a cave. Down here by where we got the Assassin's Gloves or whatever. The Cliff Top Path. You'll need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. Yeah, I really suck at trying to like sneak by these guys, so since I want to kill the bandits anyway, I'm just gonna, yeah, not even worry about it really. I'm gonna try to hide from them, but they're actually pretty smart. They'll like track you down. It's weird. I don't know. I never it was any good at it. Gate. Okay, yeah, whatever. Alright, now we just have to kill these dudes. The gate's gonna be locked until all three of them are dead. So. I guess technically you could hide from them, but they're gonna chase you anywhere you could possibly hide anyway, so it's not really like you can hide from them. And we got some barrels over here. With some stuff that I want to pick up. The heroin shoulder tattoo. All right. But yeah, we can just kind of hide behind this little boulder here, and in a few seconds the gate will open. Now this took me two or three tries to succeed, so I'm just gonna clip all my failures out of the way here. Where the hell's the guards? Get more men out there! And the gate open, and three more bandits will show up. Yeah, I was trying to hide behind a tree so in the hopes that they would walk past me, but no, it didn't work. Gotta hide behind the boulder here. And uh, two of them will walk off to the more eastern side of the map, and then one of them will kind of hang around close to you. So once the two have walked off and there's just the one left, you need to very carefully sneak past him and run through the gate. Just the, the only way I've ever been able to do it. Can't just beat the gate down. It'd be nice. I'm sure I'm strong enough to cut through the thing, but oh well, whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, hurry up, dude. There we go. Run! Ah, oh, he almost saw me. Yeah, once we make it to the abandoned road, we're we're all right. We don't really have to worry about things too much. Here, you were 
heard what happened to Stern? No. What did the idiot do this time? He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Uh, it was a week before he could get back into the camp. Yeah. You can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. If you ask me, old Twin Blade's getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's got into him. Hey! Who's that? <laughs> Alright, well they just gave you a hint as to what needs to happen here. In order to enter Twin's Blade camp, we have to be in full bandit gear. Now, so as we progress along through the abandoned road, there's five treasure chests. One, each treasure chest has one of the five pieces of the bandit gear. Which is, as far as I know, the only way to actually obtain that particular suit, if you're wanting to, like, hang on to it. But, yeah, since I'm doing bandit blood, just slaughter them all! They won't come back. So, like, ever. This place will be abandoned from now on. That's why it's the abandoned road. Well, there's a couple quests that actually take place here, but, you know, quest mobs will show up, but for the most part, this place will be pretty empty. And here's the first of our five chests. We get the bandit boots. Work our way up the hill here. Now, there's dudes in these towers, so try to make sure to kill these crossbowmen before they gank you. Most of this stuff should die pretty easy. These are like the lower level bandits, so... Piece number two, the bandit shirt. Over here we got some barrels. Just normal mundane stuff. Alright. Let's continue on up the hill. Ah. The yeah, bandits are kind of annoying because they have a, a combo breaker attack. A little quick threat like punch with their sword that'll hit through your swings since I don't have very high speed since I'm not working on that. But yeah, wh whatever. Yeah, trying to squeeze your way back here to these barrels is a little tricky. <laughs> An Ages of Skill Potion, and Bandit Piece number three. The Trousers. Got some more stairs. And just moving along here. Got another tower. Yay, I killed 24 bandits. I have completed my boast. around here. Nope, don't look like it. Moving along. Here's chest number four. The bandit bandana. That's kind of a tongue twister. Bandit bandana. There's something over here. Yep, they were cooking some red meat. And one last chest over here. The Bandit Gloves. Alright. Now all we have to do is just make it to the end. We don't have too many more mobs left to kill. And uh, there's a resurrection vial in the chest. So, I want to grab that. Almost made it to the end. Got a few more people here. And a demon door. Awesome. I'll have to check that one out. Ah, hit me with the combo breaker. Awesome. Tore him up. Alright, we got a chest up on the top of this little point here, which has a resurrection vial. 
I think that brings me up to nine. I'm gonna have to sell some. Oh no, that's only seven. And I'll just have to 